Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Unreal Hero and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a caps lock and num lock indicator for your Razer Chroma keyboard. Let's check it out. All right guys, to make this caps lock indicator, we're going to be doing it in the studio tab, as you can see up here at the top. Make sure that you have the Studio app installed on your Razer Synapse program. And in the Studio tab, we are going to be working over the top of this existing chroma effect that I got on here. It's just a stock one. All I have on here is green, but you could have a bunch of layers going on. Uh, you could have a reactive and a ripple. You could have all these layers over here on the left and you can still have your caps lock indicator. So to make this indicator, what we're going to do is we're going to add a brand new wave layer right here. And it helps if you right click this layer and rename that to caps lock. And you want this layer to be at the very top. It has to be at the very top so that you can see it. Otherwise it can be hidden by other layers. So we're going to do a caps lock indicator three different ways. We're gonna do a regular static color for it. We're going to do a flashing color and we're also going to do like a wave or a rainbow wave or whatever kind of color wave you want. So with our caps lock layer selected, we're going to click on the caps lock key and we're going to click on this color drop down. And first we're going to do a regular static color. And to do this, we're not going to choose the single color one here. We're going to choose this two node wave right here so you got one note at this end and you got one note at this end and what we're going to do is we're going to make these two nodes the same color so if i wanted my caps lock to turn white whenever i pressed it i'm going to make this node white and i'm going to copy this hex code and i'm going to paste it into the other node as well so you got just one white colored bar and that looks good. I'm going to click off of that. I'm going to leave my speed alone. It doesn't really matter if it's a single color. Width is, the, is fine. Everything is fine on here. What you want to change is the start under playback. You want to change the start from random to on selected keys. So this wave is only going to start when I press this selected key. But you also have to change the end so under playback, under end, you have to click on that and change it from after to on selected keys. So it will start when this key is pressed and it will turn off when this key is pressed again. So I'll do that right there and I'll hit save. Now when I hit the caps key, it turns white and it'll stay white until I press it again and it'll shut off. So that's how you do a solid color. Now I'm going to show you how to do a flashing color. And to do this, same thing. We're going to make our wave layer, caps lock layer, and we're going to select this key. But instead of doing uh, one color here, we're going to choose a three node wave like this. And I'm actually going to select this middle and I'm going to drag that over a little bit. I'm going to make it red and then I'm going to click this plus sign here and that's just going to copy that node. And I'm just going to make a little bit of space here in the middle. Um, all just one color. And the outside nodes here we are going to make invisible. So this little checkerboard mark right here. Make that invisible. Drag that in a little bit. Same thing on this side. Make that one invisible drag that in a little bit. So now what this is going to do is it's going to constantly flash red. So I'll click off of that. I'll hit save. And now when I press my caps lock key, you can see it flashes red at me. And you can increase the speed of this too. I'll click on this key. I'm actually going to move these invisible nodes to the outside so it looks a little bit cleaner. And I'm going to click off of that and I'm going to increase my speed up to 30. See what that looks like. Hit save. Now when I press the caps key, you can see it's flashing a lot more. And you can just play around with this, the speeds, and get them exactly where you want them. 
but this is how you make a flashing caps lock key and you really want to make sure if you're going with the flashing that these are invisible nodes at the end because when they're invisible it lets you see your existing chroma effect that is underneath this layer so it won't mess with that you'll just see the flashing red last but not least i'll show you how to make like a rainbow wave effect color caps lock key pretty pretty easy you just select the key and we're going to choose this multicolored wave pattern here and that looks good i'll hit save now if i press the caps lock key you can see it goes into a rainbow color and you can make this wave like i said before any color you want you can throw in any colors into these nodes that you want if you just want like a blue based wave you can put on these blue tints here so i'll show you what the blue looks like so that's uh that's a blue flashing key and you can just play with it and make it whatever you guys want but that's all you have to do to make a caps lock indicator for your razor chroma keyboard that's going to do it for this video guys if you liked the video and you learned a little something please smash that thumbs up button that would help me out a lot if you're very curious about your razor chroma keyboard and you want to learn more about it then i highly encourage you to hit that subscribe and bell icon that way you guys don't miss out on future razor keyboard lighting tips thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank <laughs> you.